What's up everyone, this is Yuno Primo 3 here, and today we are reviewing the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game, Slifer, Obelisk, and Raw, Game Mat, aka Playmat. It has been a while since I haven't uploaded any videos for the past few weeks, because the last video I've uploaded was the Having a Great Time in New York since 2019, the slideshow I've, I've edited and uploaded that. Even though 2019 was like two years ago, by the way. And it's one of those great times that I did with my mom, but yeah. Anyways, back to the video. So, excuse the distraction of me talking, but here I am, making another review video. And speaking of review videos, if you guys have not checked out the Slifer the Sky Dragon structure deck, Check it out. It's it's one of those greatest things I, I've liked to upload. But the thing is, it's only in two parts. So I might do another video where I'm going to talk about the future of my two-part videos to make that into, you know, a full-length video. I will be discussing that, you know, tomorrow when I record. So, again, back to the video. So... Let's get this review started, shall we? So, so the art looks pretty good, even though the art I know of those three Egyptian gods were, you know, Obelisk the Tormentor, Slifer the Sky Dragon, and the Wayne Dragon of Ra. I mean, this is like one of the most they have. This is like one of the most iconic arts since, like, you know, their TCG card arts until they're you know having their alternate arts on the left it's the same and then on the right same art as well but then let's take a look at the let's take a look at the back and this is what the playmat looks like i know many fans were like waiting for this moment to have a playmat of those three famous egyptian god cards and yeah looks really cool Made for the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game, one full-size soft cushion rubberized playmat. I don't want to say, well, game mat doesn't make any sense, I'm not going to lie. I mean, it's, I mean, yeah, sounds decent. So, again, this playmat looks freaking awesome. I got this at Target, and it's a pretty good deal to buy this thing. And it looks really cool, so... Alright. Now, for the opening part. <laughs> no wonder why the box... I mean... Man, opening this box is like... Kind of hard. But it's not that much of a big a deal. But the... Ooh. Ooh, I love the soft touch of this it's so softy all right ta-da here we are man this is bigger than i expected wow that looks cool oh don't forget this part <laughs> Man, this looks really cool. Just wait until I get to use this. When I get to duel anyone. While playing the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game. So. And if you guys still already catch a glimpse of those um, rectangular shapes. Those are like, of course, the... Well, if you guys are familiar of playing the game. So, so the first five um, rectangular shapes. Um, parts those are the monster zones then on the bottom five on the bottom five columns of these rectangulars rectangle shapes um, those are the spell and trap zones if you guys have already known the rules this is the deck zone and that one on top was the of course the graveyard zone 
you guys already know what this is. That's the extra deck zone, you know, used for fusions, synchros, XZs, pendulum, and, well, not for pendulum, link, and etc., etc. You guys, you guys get the idea. And then on the top, that was the, the field spell zone. Yeah. Where you get to activate like a field spell, like the Seal of Orichalcos or, or Malefic World, etc. Any of that stuff. And then on the last two columns of those, were the, um, were the extra zones. It was meant to be the link zones, but technically, last year they decided to make the master, change the master rules into, you know, have these extra deck monsters into being the regular monster zones, like right here, for example, like a fusion monster, like, um, let's just say... Elemental Hero Flame Wingman, since he's a fusion monster, or number 39 Utopia, etc. Yeah. I mean, I like this idea of how they added, you know, Raw, Slifer, and Obelisk, and it just looks really cool. And I love, and again, I love the comfortable, soft touchiness. <laughs> Excuse my sarcasticness. I'm just trying to be funny and stuff, but. Yeah. This looks really cool. <laughs> and again, I didn't expect this to be bigger, but cooler. So, anyways. Alright. I know this is a short video and stuff, but... Well, a short review video, by the way. And, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe or click like. And click the bell icon. And... That's all for today, so thank you guys for watching my review video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!